Hello and welcome to the session on mobile automation with Tricentis Tosca. I'm Marcus and today I will show you how to prepare your Mac for mobile automation. The first thing you will need is Xcode. It's the Apple development environment and it's available from the Mac App Store. To install it, just open the App Store, search for Xcode and install it. In my case, it's already installed, so um, there's no install button here, but it would be here where it says open. The next thing you need is your Mac's IP address. You can find it by opening up a terminal window and typing in if config. This will look a bit messy, but you can see um, that in this case, the IP address of the Mac is here. We need to remember that. Uh, now we'll go over to the Windows PC for the next configuration steps. Also, make sure that remote login is activated on the Mac. To do so, go to System Preferences, go to Sharing, and make sure that the remote login um, is checked here. On our PC, we need to run the macOS Mobile Configuration Wizard to install all the necessary components on your Mac. To do so, open Tracentis Tosca, go to your project root, right click and select macOS mobile configuration wizard. Here we need to enter our user data of our Mac, including username and password, the IP address we just looked up. The port number is already entered and here we want to select iOS only because we're going to only use the Mac for iOS, but it's also possible to use it for Android automation. Then we click connect and Tosca will check if the connection worked. Now I've already installed the mobile engine on my Mac, so I'm not going to go further here. But if you run into any problems during the configuration, you can also install the components manually. To do so, go into the tbox home directory, go to resources, mobile, and there you will find the install Appium macOS script. Copy the script to your Mac and install it through terminal. And now we're going to go back to the Mac to finish up the configuration. Back in our Mac, we now need to run one additional script and then set a provisioning profile. Um, the script we need to run is located in this directory. And the fastest way to do it is to take this line, open up a terminal window, and enter it here to navigate to the directory. And then we need to run the bootstrap.sh script, which is located here, just by executing this. Um, again, I already installed the mobile engine on this Mac, so I'm not going to run it here. The next thing we need to do is to navigate to this directory. Then we're just going to open up Finder, go to Go, go to Folder, uh, and go to this directory. Um, you can see it here. We're going to click on Go. And here we need to run the WebDriver Agent Xcode project by just double clicking on it. Uh, and here uh, we select the project, and under WebDriver Lib, uh, we need to select our team account. This is the Apple development account. And we need to do the same on the WebDriver Agent Runner component here. Now Xcode comes with the latest iOS version and offers iOS simulators for all the different devices supporting that version. But if you need additional versions, go to Product, Destination, Add Additional Simulators, click on this plus symbol here, go to iOS version, and select Download More Simulator Runtimes. And here you have access to all the different iOS versions. 
Um, once you downloaded the iOS version, um, all simulators running this version are available. Now this was the last step and now our Mac is configured for mobile automation. See you in the next video.